Hello everyone, and welcome to my little lecture on the topic of Kantai Collection and the Optimal Ship Repair Schedule. I thought about this problem a while ago, and after a bit of thought and research, I noticed that it neatly touches on so many interesting aspects and concepts of theoretical computer science and algorithm engineering that I couldn't help but want to make a video about it. So, I assume that if you clicked on this video, you know what Kantai Collection is, what kind of game it is, and why one might be interested in efficiently scheduling ship repairs in a way that takes the least amount of time in total. For me, it was when my being too lazy to farm buckets for an event came back to bite me a while ago. I will try my best to keep this as accessible as possible, but I would say that some knowledge or at least some interest in computer science and mathematics wouldn't hurt. I will first describe and characterize the problem in a formal way, then give some theoretical background that will reveal that this problem is not quite as simple as it seems. Finally, I will look at a simple, efficient algorithm that calculates a certain solution and prove how well it fares. A better algorithm will be presented in the next video on this topic. Most of what I'll show you today is based on the lecture Scheduling on Parallel Machines by Lori Marchal, held in 2012 at the École Normale Supérieure in Lyon, France. I've provided a link in the description below. It is very short and condensed though, so I supplemented all the missing details and didactic things. Also, note that the theorem and proof we are going to look at I simplified a bit. Okay, now that we got all of that out of the way, let's dive right in. Let's take a look at our problem. During a sortie, the naval fleet takes heavy damage. After their return, the ship girls are all in desperate need of repair, like our dashing lady Susie are here. The admiral is completely out of buckets, but he also needs to have his fleet ready as soon as possible. And well, this leads to the question, how can we assign the ship girls to the docks to minimize the total repair time? I think the reason why one would want to look at this problem is quite obvious. In order to find a solution, we'll first formally characterize the problem to get an idea of what it is on a mathematical level. Alright, so we have n damaged ship girls, m docks, and ship girl number i needs ti seconds to be repaired. We could choose any time unit, but picking seconds in particular lets us assume they are integers, and this is useful because we won't have to waste our time thinking about things like rounding errors or something. Okay, now onto the central characteristics. Each dock can repair exactly one ship girl at a time. The docks are functionally identical, this means all docks repair the ship girls at the same speed. Finally, repairs cannot be stopped or interrupted, and a single repair cannot be distributed among multiple docks. Once a repair has been started, the dock in question is busy until that repair is finished. Well then, we can easily observe the following. Once the ship girls are assigned to their docks, the total repair time is the time taken by the fullest dock. For a given repair schedule, let CI be the time taken by dock number I. Now, the problem lies in minimizing C max, which is the time taken by said fullest dock. The question is, can we automate this process? Can we build an algorithm for it? And most importantly, can we draw any useful conclusions on how we should schedule our ship girl repairs by hand? Okay, uh, before we dive deeper into this, I will first explain to you what exactly I mean when I say repair schedule. A repair schedule assigns the damaged ship girls to their docks, for example by assigning a starting time at a dock to each repair so that the problem's requirements are fulfilled. I have supplied an illustration for a simplified example of such a schedule with 7 ship girls that takes 22 hours in total. Okay, so now let's get back on track. I will now give a bit of background on scheduling theory and approximation algorithms that will help us put our problem on a proper theoretical foundation. Our problem is functionally identical to the problem scheduling on identical parallel machines, P, C max. Uh, this is standardized notation. The P means we are working with parallel identical machines, and C max is what we are trying to minimize. In our case, the machines are docks and the jobs are ship girls. It is an optimization problem as opposed to a decision problem. I could now go on to give a normal lecture about scheduling theory here, but I keep everything in Kantai collection terms. I mean, it's just more fun and when do you get to do that? The first thing to note about this problem is the most disappointing. It is NP hard. This essentially means that no efficient solution is known and finding one would solve the PNP problem. 
In case you don't know it, look it up if you want. There are lots of good articles and videos that explain in particular what it means. For a short explanation, our problem is so difficult that solving it would also indirectly solve one of computer science's oldest and most famous problems and turn everything on its head quite unlikely. For us, this implies something rather sad. The only known way to solve it exactly is trying out every possible way to assign the ship gods to the docks and finally returning the minimum. This is not feasible in any way, shape or form, of course. While it will probably work for the number of docks, a maximum four, and the number of ship gods we usually deal with after a sortie, which is also arguably quite small, the runtime needed grows literally exponentially in relation to the number of ship gods involved, leading to a veritable runtime explosion quite quickly. Also, this can hardly be done by hand in any reasonable manner. Is there a better way? A smarter way? Now you might ask, what point is there in thinking about such problems when it is so unlikely anyone will ever come up with an efficient way to solve them? And this doesn't only apply to can call or even scheduling theory in general either. There are many other NP-hard problems with very basic and important real-life applications, like the metric traveling salesman problem and the bin packing problem, for example. Well, we will look at the following. For many NP-hard problems, Actually, there are some where this will never work, but... Okay, for many NP-hard problems, so-called approximation algorithms are commonly used. These algorithms do not generally produce an ideal solution, but it can be shown that their solutions are maximum k times worse than the optimal solution for a certain factor k. For many of these problems, one can construct efficient approximation algorithms. It's basically a way to save runtime by paying with precision. If you had an MP-hard problem you absolutely needed to solve, someone coming up to you with an efficient algorithm, this means non-exponential runtime, saying, my algorithm doesn't produce an ideal solution, but its runtime is fast, and its solution will be, for example, maximum three times worse than the optimum, and never worse than that. Would you object? Okay, now we are going to look at a simple approximation algorithm for our problem, in a standard way. This means we will first look at the algorithm itself and then give a mathematical proof for why it is a real approximation. Let's look at the algorithm, algorithm 1, presented in pseudocode here. We first iterate over the set of all ship girls. Note that we don't assume they are sorted in any way. We choose the dock that, at the moment, has the minimum amount of load and put the next ship girl into that dock. By putting, in this case, I mean picking the earliest possible starting time for the repair, in other words, sticking it right on top of the current repair load. We do this until all ship girls are assigned. An intuitive explanation for the kind of schedule this generates is the following. The algorithm puts a new ship girl into a dock as soon as it becomes free. For the runtime of this algorithm, I don't want to bore you with the details, but we can safely say it is efficient in that its runtime growth is polynomial, relative to the number of ship girls and docks, respectively. No exponential stuff going on here. Uh, before we go on, quick note, for a given instance of our problem, let opt denote the optimal solution and c max opt its total repair time. Now let's look at how well our algorithm does. Algorithm 1 is a 2 approximation of our problem. This means that our total repair time is less than or equal to 2 times the optimal repair time. Okay, so as we have now made an assertion, we'll have to prove it. You might be wondering how are we supposed to prove how good this algorithm solution is when compared to the optimal solution if we don't know anything about the optimal solution itself? I mean, isn't that kind of the point? We don't know anything about it. Well, saying we don't know anything at all would not be quite right. A common way to continue is by asking, how optimal can it possibly get? Search for bounds and keep proving with the help of those. As we are dealing with a minimization problem, we are specifically looking for lower bounds for the optimal solution. There are two obvious lower bounds for it. The first is the maximum repair time. This means the longest single repair, because each repair has to be completely handled by one dock at some point. The second is the sum of all repair times divided by the number of docks. In other words, the average load per dock. This one might be a little less obvious than the first one. 
it would be the optimal time if repairs could be cut up and divided among the docks as each repair has to be done at some point, but we can't do that here, so the optimal solution can at least never be better than that. Now consider a schedule generated by algorithm 1. Let t be the starting time of the repair that finishes last, duration t last. Note that the last finishing repair does not necessarily need to be the last starting repair. If we jump back and take a quick look at our little example schedule, the last finishing repair would be Yamato, even though it started very early. It is, I think, very easily understood that the total repair time equals the starting time of the last finishing repair plus its duration. T last is of course at most as long as the longest single repair time. Also, all dogs are busy at time t or have just finished their work, which implies that t is less than or equal to the average load per dog. Okay, so this last one is not obvious at all, so let's take an in-depth look into why it works. So why are all dogs busy at time t? We are going to prove this by leading the opposite assumption to a contradiction. Okay, so let dock number i be the dock the last finishing repair, number l, is assigned to. Now we assume that there is at least one dock, number j, which is not busy at time t. Now if dock j is idle at time t, it has also been idle when ship girl l was assigned to dock i, as the algorithm does not produce gaps, as it sticks the repairs right on top of each other. But then the task in question would not have been given to dock i, as dock j has a smaller load, and the algorithm always assigns the ship girl to the dock with the current minimum amount of load. And thus, the assumption that at least one dock is idle at time t leads to a contradiction, so all docks are busy at time t. Okay, and why does this imply that t is less than or equal to the average load per dock? Well, the average load per dock is an upper bound for the amount of time we can keep all docks busy at the same time, without running out of repairs. And as we now know that all docks are busy at time t, the above implies that t is in fact less than or equal to the average load. Next, we will conclude by putting this all together to prove our initial assertion. So, the total repair time is equal to the last finishing repair starting time plus its duration. Now, we can use our results from earlier and the following holds. We know that t is less than or equal to the average load per dock, and that t last is less than or equal to t max. But these two numbers are exactly the two lower bounds for the optimal repair time that we had found. So we can say that their sum is less than or equal to optimal repair time plus optimal repair time, or, in other words, two times the optimal repair time. And this concludes our proof. Okay, so I said that I simplified the proof from the source a bit, and that is because the author showed a little bit more. For any given number of docs m, our bound is in fact not tight. Actually, the following can be shown. This means the approximation factor is better than 2 for only 2 docs, but it gets worse the more docs we have. For 4 docks, which most players with experience have probably invested in, if you calculate the ratio, we already get a 7 over 8 factor, which is quite close to 2. Note, though, that if we keep the number of docks completely open, the approximation ratio is still exactly 2, because the expression there gets arbitrarily close to 2 the bigger m gets. So, what's the main takeaway here? Well. I explicitly mentioned earlier that we never assume our ship girls are arranged in any particular order, let alone sorted, right? This means the following. If you behave like our algorithm, you will get the same approximation ratio. In other words, no matter in which order you put your ship girls into the docks, as long as you assign a new ship girl to a dock as soon as it becomes free, you will never need more than double the optimal repair time. Now, you might be thinking, that's still quite a lot. Which is true. 
but in our next video we'll fix this. We'll be looking at an improvement on our algorithm that improves the approximation ratio by a considerable margin. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope it was interesting.